Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your dominant energy to see what's coming towards you, who's coming towards you, what's in your challenge position, and much, much more. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Remember, it's a general reading, so take it as it resonates. So basically, that means that you can reverse the roles if you feel that they fit better that way, okay? All right, and you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. You have here the number 19, and it says shine. So, you know, this is all about you, you know, shining brightly. Don't dim your light is what this is saying. Don't dim your light to make people around you that are not as confident as you feel comfortable. This is all about shining bright, you know, kind of giving it your all, being the center of attention, okay? If you have a product that you want to introduce to the world or something here, you know, it's all about bringing it, bringing it out, okay? So shine. I feel like some of you guys are going to be entering rooms and all eyes will be on you. Shine brightly. Don't dim your light, okay? Now let's go and see what this is all about here for you, but I feel like this is going to be a very good week. I feel like also there's going to be some kind of healing energy where you're going to be able to open up, okay? Because as you can see, this woman is kind of like opening up, right? She's opening up widely. There's a beautiful light coming from, you know, inside of her. So shine beautiful. Let's see what this is all about here for you. And all right, so three of swords. I did say healing energy. Some of you guys might be healing something, okay? Transforming some kind of sadness into happiness, into joy, or just kind of, you know, accepting it, okay? Accepting it for what it is. And through acceptance, a lot of times you do find healing. You could be dealing with the sign of Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I see also Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio at the bottom, the seven of cups. Yeah. So look at that. You're going to have options. If you don't know this yet, you are going to come to the conclusion that, hey, you know what? Yeah. People, situations around you are choosing you but now who are you going to choose right what are you going to choose because you're going to come into a time right now where you have to choose wisely okay not all of them are the best fit for you but you're going to again i feel like it's better to have options than to have very little so this is something here that might be related to career endeavors love situations family situations whatever this is but you're coming into a lot of options. And if you choose the right one, your wishes will be granted. Look at that, the Nine of Cups. So all of your wishes being fulfilled, all of your wishes being granted. But again, don't, also this is to kind of saying, don't purposely try to avoid choosing the right thing because you feel like you're not ready for it and you choose the wrong one, right? A lot of times people, you know, really, really want something, but then they're like, no, that's going to be too much work, right? It's going to be too much effort. So they settle for something less. Don't settle for something less than what you really want, even if you have to put in a little bit more work and more effort. Because again, with the nine of cups here, it says that you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Okay. Now also here with the three of swords, like I said, some kind of healing energy. Perhaps some of you guys are going through the energy of pain, a painful cycle. Uh, it could also be the energy of a third party situation, whatever this is, I feel like you're going to heal because shine is here as your dominant energy. Okay. So some kind of healing energy also here in your challenge position with the five of pentacles, what the saying is that it's going to be a little bit challenging for you to either, you know, make money right now, or maybe you are finding it challenging to make more money. Maybe you have a certain goal and you're like, my God, yeah, sure. I'm making ends meet, but I want more, right? Some of you guys might be financially struggling and, or it could also be for some of you guys, it might be something, uh, deep within you, meaning you might have abandonment, you know, trauma or somebody here has some kind of abandonment trauma, fear of rejection, fear of being left out in the cold, that sort of thing. So it's going to be a little bit challenging for you to step outside of this energy, but I do see that you will be able to. Okay. Now here with the page of wands. Yeah. So I feel like you're either waiting for a message to come through to you, or you are the one who wants to deliver this message. Okay. It's almost as if you're kind of waiting for the right timing because you want something new. I feel like you're kind of growing a little bit restless and you you want some adventure in your life. You're like, okay, this is getting boring. This is getting repetitive. You know, I want something new. I want something adventurous. I want something fun. I feel like you're in that energy where you want something fun. You want something new and, or you've got your eye on someone or something that could potentially create this kind of fun phase for you in your life. But I do see a message coming in for you as well. With the three of pentacles, 
the root of the issue is that you need to be more willing to compromise. Okay. Some of you guys might be, you know, just kind of like very adamant in getting exactly what you want and you may not be kind of too flexible. So what this is saying is that if you want to get what you want, whether it's more money or whether it's a connection here or healing, you have to learn how to compromise and work together as a team. Okay. Whether it's just with one person or with a group of people, but this is all about teamwork. Okay. That is the root of the issue. The fact that somebody here is not willing to work together as a team. Okay. Now in the recent past, I do see that there was some kind of conflicting energy, maybe drama around you, a lot of, you know, perhaps resistance and, or it could also be gossiping energy for others. It could be competition. You know, you wanting to get what you want, this other person wanting to compete with you for something. Now coming towards you with the King of Swords, I do see that there's going to be a person here coming through that is very logical. This person is very logical. They're very strategic. They don't show much emotion. They're very emotionally detached. And I'm also getting that for you, you might be also doing this. Okay. You might also be emotionally detaching from people, situations, and circumstances. You're kind of like in that energy where you don't want to get hurt again. So therefore you're not really opening up. Okay. Now here with the Knight of Cups, I do see that in your subconscious thoughts. Yeah. I feel like you want romanticism. You want to experience that kind of romantic phase of your life or others of you guys. Maybe you're thinking about making a move. Maybe you're thinking about reaching out to somebody in a very loving way. Okay. But there's this element here in your subconscious thoughts of emotions kind of coming up. Okay. I'm also getting that somebody here might be wanting to approach you. Okay. This person has romantic feelings for you and they're thinking about approaching you, even though they haven't done so yet. Now with the justice here, I feel like this individual sees you as their karma. Okay. It's interesting because I, I they see you as a person who is very balanced. They see you as a person who wants an equal give and take, okay? And they see you in a very strong, you know, light. So like I said, shine brightly. I feel like this person has respect for you, but also this individual feels like they want reciprocity from you. They want an equal give and take, okay? Now it could be a Libra, it doesn't have to be, but here with the moon reverse, your action advice is to open up open up. Okay. If you've already done the shadow work, it's time for you to come out, come out from that, you know, kind of energy of hermiting way too much. Now for others of you guys, if you still need to hermit, then yeah, I feel like some of you guys might also still need to hermit. But as soon as you're done with this hermit mode, I feel like this is telling you open up. Okay. Open up because I feel like you're going to gain a lot of clarity and a lot, of, a lot of knowledge by you kind of going within yourself, your deeper emotions and, you know, kind of figuring out what what you want and what you don't want instead of just trying to avoid you know, kind of going into your emotions because it feels uncomfortable for you. So I feel like this is going to have a lot of benefits if you actually do that. Now, for others of you guys, I feel like you're going to gain a lot of clarity and wisdom through that process as well. We're going to be going into the extender ring to see who this person is, because I see that somebody here wants to make a move, but they want an equal give and take. They want reciprocity. They do feel like you are their karma, okay, in some kind of way, shape or form. So we're going to see who this person is more so about their subconscious thoughts about either deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves and actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and develop for you, what is going to be the final result. And we will end the reading with any messages from spirit. If you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. And in the extended reading is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to develop and turn out for you, what will be the final result. And we will end the reading with any messages from spirit. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, you can now find the link to the extended down in the first comment that is pinned down below, as well as in the description box below. And I finally got good news from YouTube regarding the situation that has been happening with my channel. Make sure that if you do like these videos, if you do want to support the channel, comment down below, even if it's just commenting down an emoji, it really helps support me and my channel. And now you can check out all of your readings that I've posted for your sign in the first comment that is um, pinned down below. You will find all of your weekly readings from this week. Last week, you will also find all of your monthly readings for this entire month, your mid-monthly readings, your blessings readings, and more. So make sure to check out the first comment that is pinned down below so that you can check out all of those readings for your sign for this entire month. Thank you all so much for your support. Take very good care of yourselves and until next time, bye-bye. 
in the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.